Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and Apple has finally released the fourth beta of iOS 17. This has some new features and changes, but what's really important is that Apple has made some really nice improvements with this update and it looks like this is the one we have been waiting for. First of all, let's go ahead and take a look at the size of this update. So of course, as we move on to new betas, the size will always going to get smaller. So we're at 1.3 gigs here on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It should be at around one gig for every other user. Of course, this always depends on which software you have currently on your device. And of course, in which device you're trying to install the fourth beta of iOS 17. And the build number for this new beta is 21 a 5291 h this is the new build number and we're getting closer of course to those like final betas before the release to the public of ios 17. so let's go ahead and first of all take a look at some new features and changes that you will be able to find on this update now first of all we're moving to messages so on the messages app when you tap the plus button you will see here a lot of icon changes Apple has updated them and it actually looks much, much better. So we have a new one for the photos there, new for the camera, new for cache, location, audio as well. And the more button has also been redesigned. So if you tap now here, you will see the App Store one has been redesigned as well. The images one as well. So a lot of changes have been made on the icons here on the apps menu on the iMessage app. Now, another thing I have noticed with these betas, is that with beta 4 the transcription of your voice messages is actually working properly i didn't get this to work since beta 1 but with this beta you can see right there i just sent like a couple of days ago i believe it was like a test message and once i updated to this beta i've noticed that now it's actually showing right there the proper transcription of that voice message Another change on the control center here, the remote icon has been changed. So if you're using the Apple TV and you will have the remote here, then you will notice that it actually has a completely new icon. And we're going here. Also, the font here is a bit bolder. So if you use the Apple TV remote from your iPhone, you will notice a bolder text and of course the new icon. Another change within the Photos app, we have a new animation now. When we tap the share button, on a photo you can see that like animation how it slides from the bottom like this it actually looks pretty cool it used to be way different with the third beta of ios 17. there's also a new animation here for airplay so you can see once you tap on the airplay it first will show where you're currently playing and then it will slide up and show you your other speakers and tv so it's really really cool actually and if you have a lot of those it actually slides up quite a lot so it looks kind of cool and now let's move on to the settings app we have a few changes here as well first of all if you go to your settings and you go to general and then you go to airdrop you will notice here we have a new setting so start sharing by bringing devices together you know that is a really cool new feature of ios 17 where you can share simply by bringing two devices together you can share a contact or anything else you want well, as Apple should have done from the beginning, they have added a button which actually allows us to turn that feature off. So if you're worried about like maybe using that by accident or you just don't want to have that feature, go ahead and turn it off from here. Just know that this by default is actually turned on. So you will need to go to your settings and turn it off from here. Another change here on the settings app, we have a new little icon right there for a home screen and app library. So nothing has changed here, but just this icon here on the list of your settings app. When you go to your settings, go under accessibility and go to display and text size. You will find here a new option, which actually allows you to now prefer horizontal text. So you enable it right there and it says right here, prefer horizontal text in languages that support vertical text. So if you want to do that, you will have to enable it here because by default, it will be disabled. And then another change here on the settings app, if you go to privacy and security, and then you go to sensitive content warning, if you have this turned on and use this feature, you would have here airdrop messages and video messages. Now you will also get another button for contact so you can enable or disable it from here. 
Another new setting on iOS 17 beta 4 can be found under the standby section. So you can see right here we have show notifications. If we enable that and you have notifications while your device is on the standby mode, you will get another option to show preview on tap only. So they won't basically show any preview of the notification. The only time it shows is when you tap the screen. And here we have some more changes. Moon phases now will show on the screen of your weather app. So you can see right there it shows on the sky, which is actually really, really cool. We have here a new splash screen for the Apple Music app. And also we have this splash screen for the health app. So it basically suggests, suggests you that you can actually share your data with Apple. This is the first time I've seen this on iOS 17. It just popped up once I open the health app, once I have updated to beta four. And then right here, we have another one which says check out other videos, which is the title of one of my notes. It is basically suggesting me on the spotlight search that I open a note from there, which I use quite frequently. So it's not something I've searched for. It will just suggest something that you actually use very frequently. And now let's talk about why I really think this is a great update and iOS 17 beta 4 is the one we have been waiting for. Now, from this moment, even though I've used this update for about 24 hours, I can say that this is stable enough. And if you want to try it, I can say that it's actually even safer than iOS 16.6. It's much, much better. It runs much smoother and it's actually great. And you can actually install it right now on your device. Even if it's your main device, I don't see any problems with having this update on your device. First of all, taking a look at the Geekbench score here, we have an amazing score with the beta four, even though it's just day one. And in the next couple of days, probably if I run a test, it will even be much better than this. And the same goes for battery life, where we also have a great improvement. And I will show you guys that in a minute here. So the single core score is at 2,638, while the multi-core score is at 6,767, which is actually a great score. And now let's move on for the good part here under the battery setting so going into battery as i said of course we cannot really judge something based on one day use but it's actually looking really good if you have a lot of experience with actually having betas on your device and even new updates public updates that apple releases you know that the battery actually gets better after two or three days after you have installed the update first of all on your device so you can see right here what we have this is to basically the last day so when i have used the device on ios 17 beta 4 you can see what we have there so it's exactly at 50 percent battery and we have used the device for five hours and 14 minutes on the screen it's actually quite good and quite a big improvement from the last beta you can see right here if we go to battery health it's actually at 90 percent so it's actually have has been worn down a bit it's not like it would be like 97 or 98 so with 90 percent battery health we got right here five hours and 14 minutes and by the end of the day it will probably go at around 10 or 11 hours or maybe even more so it looks like battery life with ios 17 beta 4 will be much much better and last but not least, we're talking about iOS 17 beta 5. Really excited about that update as well. Most likely from beta 5 and on, we will move to a weekly schedule. But for the beta 5, I still expect Apple to go two weeks until the release of beta 5. So you could expect it somewhere around the 8th or the 9th of August. That's the day that I believe Apple releases beta 5 of iOS 17. And from that to beta 6, probably we will move on a weekly schedule because we won't have actually a lot of time. If we get beta six here, then we have beta seven, beta eight, maybe another RC version or something before Apple releases the full, basically the public release of iOS 17. So we could go on a weekly schedule from beta six or maybe even beta seven, but expect Apple to do that really, really soon. So that is it for this video, guys. iOS 17 is actually looking amazing with this update. So I hope you guys enjoyed if you have it installed on your device. That's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.